Welcome back, everyone. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher, and this is World Drum Club. And the upcoming video that we're going to see is all about the Imbira, the Zimbabwe thumb piano. There's also some kalimbas and other kinds of thumb pianos. And I've got uh, a nice treat for us because this is a guest instructor here on World Drum Club, Christopher Carroll, who is a patron of the channel. Thanks, Chris. Uh, this video was shot during a session that Chris presented at the Georgia College and State University Music Therapy Department. And the video was shot by Emily Kirkland. Chris is a Master's of Music Therapy student at the university, and he was doing a demonstration on the Imbira thumb piano, and he's sharing lots of different instruments in this video. And so this was a casual video they shot during Chris's session, and Chris was kind enough to share it with uh, all of us here on World Drum Club. So. I'm going to present it as it is. I did a little bit of editing, but it's pretty much just a casual, like a casual session. Uh, and again, thanks, Chris, for making this available to all of our members. I hope you all like it, and you learn something about the kalimba, the imbira, the thumb piano. And if you'd like to give a shout out to Chris, you can look him up online, uh, Christopher Carroll. All right, thanks so much, and enjoy the lesson. And when you play it, it's very, very quiet unless you put it in a calabash. And one thing that's important, they usually have rattles on them like this. The calabashes have rattles also. And you'll see with the ones that I've built, I've built in ways to make them rattle. But the rattles are part of the importance to help call out to the spirits. Because the idea behind the Mimira is it calls out to the ancient family members that have gone before to help discuss medical issues or help discuss fields and growing and, and the earth. So that's part of the way that you bring the spirits back to you. The instrument is called mbira. It's kind of you hum the M. Mbira. Mbira. So mbira is the instrument. Mbira is the musician playing it. And mbira is also the music because all three of them are one together. Cool. So to amplify it, you put it in a calabash like this. And you'd actually secure it with a piece of bamboo between the body and the top. But I don't have any bamboo. Mm -hmm. So outside, sounds like that. But then inside you get... So I'll let everybody play this who wants to. This is a bass thumb piano. And I do want to discuss this too. There's a guy named Hugh Tracy. So when you see somebody talk about a kalima, Hugh Tracy's a trademark instrument that he created based on the Mbira. It's not an Mbira, but it's also the basis of the thumb piano as well. So these would be considered thumb pianos. Um, this is a thumb piano that I built. And if you want to hold it, and this is a bass thumb piano, and I love people to play this because if you hold it or get it close to you, you can hear it rattle and you can feel the bass tone. But then this one, it's got these little areas on the side you can move back and forth. You get a sort of a wah wah thing. And the one Megan is having, I tuned it to a pentatonic scale. So you can do solos on it. You can play Amazing Grace if you want to. And it's got the little holes in the bottom to do the wah-wah. But I want to add it in an input jack. So it's got a pickup in there if you want to. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's yeah. sweet. What? But then these two, I really based these off of the Mbira in that a lot of the Mbira are built with found items. When the Europeans invaded Central Africa, they would bring umbrellas to help protect themselves. So the Mbir originally were built with tines that were made out of wood and strapped down with different pieces. But when the Europeans would throw away the umbrellas, the Shona would collect the umbrella pieces, beat them out, and recycle them to make the tines. So that's where the metal tines came from. So there were found objects. So I chose to make my thumb pianos with found objects also. 
So this is a guitar bridge that I mm -hmm. that I built and used the guitar strings on the inside of pieces of found wood. And this is actually an old letter box. So, so I've set it up so there's two that you can play it without the rattle. But I put a slide on the inside of it. So you can play it with a rattle. electricians, uh, devices, a piece of old uh, wire brush, part of the old fan, but it also has leftover pieces of ebony and um, I'm not sure if there's some curly pine, but I set up the keys on this so rather than adding rattles to it, the notes themselves rattle. So we like to try this one? <laughs> Come on, my brave, thanks. There you go. And let's have somebody, yeah, pass it around. We're gonna try this one, we can pass it. And let me get, come over, come over here, please. Let's try this one. Can you feel it? I hear you, Mr. Jim. So, Drum Club.